previously on Misquoted Bible Verses. Basta kung ano naman problem mo, we're here for you. Ay, sorry. Go ahead, Kisha. Go ahead. O nga, ayan. Shh. Ewan ko ba? Parang lately ang down ko dahil sa mga problems ko. Tapos, dagdag pa tong pandemic na to. Parang walang katapusan, you know. Yeah, gets, gets. Uy, Kisha, problem lang yan. Bakit ka masyado na down? Di ba dapat joyful tayo, mga Christians? Di ba sabi ni God to consider it pure joy whenever you face trials? Seriously? Huh? huh? Misquoted? Yeah. Misquoted. Bakit po? Kala ko ba nagpaalam ka na? Exactly. I already said goodbye. Kasi akala ko, nag-guess yun na not to misuse Bible verses. But here I am again kasi you use James 1 to wrong. Lagot ka dyan na Oo nga. Ay, hala, sorry. It's okay. That's why I'm here. To help you guys. Kaya, let's go! Um, Miss Coated, ipuplay ko ba yung theme song? New episode to, no? Yes po. Sige, go ahead! Okay po. You guys already know why I'm here, so I'll get right into it. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. It's used to raise a positive mental attitude in the midst of life problems. People interpret this verse as a command to remove any negative emotions and replace them with positive ones in fear of not being joyful. But again, let's take a look at the entire passage. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. James tells us in verses 3 to 4 that the problems we experience are actually building us rather than destroying us. Negative emotions such as pain and sadness are always valid even among Christians. The great comfort is found knowing that even though outward problems can break us, inward perseverance is slowly being formed in a process resulting to character development and growth. So when James wrote, consider it pure joy whenever you face trials, he wasn't telling the Christians to disregard their negative feelings and just ignorantly rejoice. He was saying that the Christians can rejoice despite their difficulties because these trials will transform them to become more like Christ. And of course, God is right beside us when we are in a situation that needs wisdom the most. We only need to humbly pray and ask it from Him. Ah, I see. Hala, ang dami ko pa naman sinabihan ng ganun. Hala, sorry pala, Kisha, na i-invalidate mo. Hala, okay lang. Gets ko naman why you said it. People have this idea kasi na kapag Christian ka, dapat lagi kang masaya. When in fact, you also face problems like any other people naman. Yeah, true. Ang ganda lang ng assurance from James 1, 2 to 4 securing us na we will always have a reason to smile at the storm kasi security din natin si Jesus. Iba talaga si Lord, no? It's okay pala to be sad sometimes. Diba yung title pa nga ng isang k-drama is It's okay to not be okay. <laughs> to be honest, pag sad ako, yung pa yung time na mas napapalapit ako kay God and sa kanya ako nagpupur ng heart ko. Yes, guys. Even Jesus himself wept. So, it's okay to feel sad. Your pain won't make you less of a Christian. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, Miss Coden. I'm so glad I could help. Pero guys, seriously, you should really learn the context of the passages on your own. 
Hindi lang halata, pero I'm pretty busy, no? Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Miss Coated, I have a question. Ano yun? Paano kayo nakakapasok sa Zoom meeting namin? Private to, ah. Hi. Secret. Anyways, you gotta go. Bye. Wait, wait. Umalis na ata talaga. Oo oh, nga. Oh, ano na yung problema mo, Keisha? And it's okay to feel sad. Hindi naman talaga mabilis ang pinagdadaanan mo, especially with this pandemic. Yes, application na gada. Of course. Thanks for saying that, Janaya. Pero wait, parang natatakot na akong mag-share. Baka may makarinig eh. Hmm, wala naman yung nanood sa atin, di ba? Yes, go ahead. Okay, wala na ata. Okay, fine. Ito kasi nangyari, guys. 